Hello everybody, welcome to my stream, welcome to Grax's stream. Well, my name is Grax, and today I will be doing an episode of What's Going On Grax with me, Grax Bishop. How are you all doing? Seems to be all going well, and I think that this stream is working pretty well right now. Hope you're doing well. Tell Mayhew, thank you very much for the zero bits, and this is a good chance for you to test out the bits cheering system, because I've got a little sound effect that comes up when you give me a cheer. You don't have to give me a cheer. In fact, it seems like you can give me zero cheers. So, yeah, if you want to give me some cheers later on, you can in my stream. You don't have to, but that would be greatly appreciated. Michael Bell, I'm here. I'm here for you right now. And I'm also here for you, Harlandos. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, I wonder, what are you all drinking tonight? Because for me, tonight, I'm back on the White Russian. I mean, after all... It's Christmas, isn't it? Or at least it was Christmas until a few days ago. Oh. Oh, that just looks more like a glass of, like, cow's milk than anything else. Anyway, so, welcome. <clears throat> Take some people some time to join in the stream to make sure that we get a good number of people joining in just to see what I'm doing. Uh, I kiss you. <laughs> Thank you, Harlandos. Oh, it looks like I got a, uh, uh, oh, a cheer. Thank you very much. That was very, very nice of you. That was very kind of you. Just like a little, little, little bit. Uh, that was another one that, uh, uh, oh, that's interesting. I got a sound alert that's saying that Tom Mayhew has paid an unacceptable free for zero bits. And then Harlandor said, woke bastard, fuck the people. And you should be able to see the chat right now. Yes. Excellent. Get on with it. You didn't get a sound alert. That's weird. That's really kind of you. Thank you very much. I think it's because you gave me the bits whilst it was going through the um, intro animations. I'm hoping I got the desktop right. Hang on a second. Let me just check or something right there. All right. All right, so it looks like I just... Actually, I'll do this quick test right now just to make sure that we are getting some sounds. Do, do, do. <laughs> Truly professional. Professional right here. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on. Don't know why I'm kissing my phone. Uh, let's see. Come on. All right, one quick test. Oh, there's so many st stuff. All right, one quick test. All right, fine. Forget about that. Let's just get on with it, as the manager says. So, what has been going on, Grax? What have you been doing for the past month or so? I mean, besides the obvious thing of being Christmas. Christmas has been and gone, and uh, it was genuinely, genuinely a very nice time. Uh, for Christmas Day, it was just me and Viv for the whole day, and nobody else. It was just nice and relaxing. Uh, we had a quick, quick test drive. Well, she had a quick test drive for our new car. That's why we got a new car over the past month. And this and note, and let me tell you something, it is a very boring drive. Very boring drive indeed, very sensible. And like, it was, it's a perfect little car for driving around the streets of Oxford. Uh, Viv had a little go at it and um, yeah, it, it was a start and we just need her to do a few more bits of driving. And then for the rest of the day, it was just playing games, had some Christmas dinner, which is all very, very nice and pleasant. I actually made Christmas dinner for my lovely girlfriend, which isn't that hard to do really. All you gotta do is just follow lay, uh, old lady car? What? 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 Look, just because the Nissan Note was, had one previous pension old lady, one previous owner who was an old pension lady, does not make it an old lady's car, right? It just doesn't. But it's very sensible. You knew you would crack and buy a car? Yes, I'm right, Michael. And you know what it was? Do you know what it was that made me crack in terms of buying a car? 
oh, it was just before Christmas. Viv and I, we needed to go to uh, Bista Village to do some last minute Christmas shopping and I had to get on the bus from where I lived to the train station. It took 45 minutes to get from the bus from where I live to the train station. And I could have driven there in 25 minutes. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. And then after some doing and throwing, we got a car. I got on lady's car and I'm fine with it. Uh, good for you. It's perfectly sensible. I mean, it's it's not a sexy drive. It's not. I mean, it's not a Toyota Yaris sexy drive. But it's got a lot of space in the front and a lot of seating space in the back, which is the important thing. Anyway, uh, where was I before I interrupt? Yes, uh, Christmas dinner, which was very nice. And there were supposed to be some greens, but uh, they kind of went a bit moldy before cooking time. So we had a very beige Christmas. A very beige Christmas with duck and potatoes and Yorkshire puddings and parsnips and carrots. Very beige. Well, that's not quite true. We did have some Brussels sprouts, which is very nice. And then uh, car chat. And then on um, Boxing Day, did the traditional thing and going down and seeing my mum and my family. Uh, we all had Christmas dinner. It was hectic, but still fun. And it was also the first Christmas that Viv was with me, uh, with my family. And we all got on very well, had lots of drinks, played lots of card games, lost some money. But that's all good, because that's all what Christmas was about. Card games and gambling and Christmas. So what else has actually been going on? Uh, hmm. Oh, I'll tell you what's been more important. The thing that's actually been more important than Christmas for 2019... Finally, after 10 years, I released a reply video for my YouTube time capsule. That's right. YouTube time capsule has been finally answered and I managed to record the whole thing. Got it edited, had a nice little funny introduction and you can see me answer the questions more or less to the questions I asked 10 years ago. And thank you for letting me give have, have the opportunity to actually do some editing with it and it was quite fun and I really did enjoy it uh sorry just looking at my notes the thing about that is uh oh no <clears throat> put that there crack's points means crack prizes I'm earning points this yeah is that is that the old um what's it called uh it's a new feature Tommy Hughes a new feature that Twitch has added Something about watching points or interaction points. The idea being is you, you you keep watching me and you keep watching me and you earn points and then you can spend it to do a whole bunch of bits and pieces. <laughs> You've earned 730 Grax points. Well done, you. Once you actually, once I actually get up my arse and gear and actually do some more creative custom content, you can actually become a bit more custom with your content. But right now, all you can really do is just kind of make a super shout with the chat and Twitch, although I can't actually see it in Restream. That's a different thing. Uh, how do I need, how many do I need to get a Grax doll? Uh, we'll have to talk to Viv about that. Um, why was my voice completely different 10 years ago? Michael Bell asks me. Well, quick response is because my voice has changed over the last 10 years. My Because I've gotten older, my throat, I guess, has become a bit more broken. And... It is really cringeworthy though, watching my older stuff. It was one of the things I'd be meaning to do. I'd be meaning to watch um, uh, my older video content, uh, one of those react videos to my old content. And no, no Tom, I did not kill the real Grax and replace him. I am the real deal. There is only one of me out there. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I released the Time Capsule video. I'm very proud of it. I'm very pleased with it. And I'm happy it's out there. Although the thing is, Viv doesn't quite like me calling her a current girlfriend. I don't know why I did quote marks. Because I, because the thing is, when I was recording it, that is accurate. But I guess she, but I'm guessing, and I know Viv's in the chat right now. Hello, Viv. How you doing? Um, I guess she doesn't like being referred to as a current girlfriend because that would signify that there's like lots of girlfriends in the past and... That's not important. What's important is her and I right now. And um, actually, that does kind of remind me a little of the story. The story where it was in China meeting her parents. 
And uh, let's just say I put my foot in my mouth. So what had happened was, it's been like week two, and it was myself, Viv, and a dad, and a mum, we were all sitting around chatting away, blah, blah, blah. And one of the questions that came up was her dad asking me, so, so Grax, um, I know you love my daughter very much. Are there, so are you on the right track for marriage? And this is me paraphrasing what he said, but this is, he's essentially asking me, Am I on the right track to marrying Viv? Which is a very, 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 very forward question to ask me, I think, uh, for meeting the boyfriend for the first time. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's blunt and it's completely honest and he has every right to ask. But I did get nervous. I was like panicking. I was like, oh God, what do I say? What, 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 what do I say? I don't want to give the wrong impression. And... I, I don't want it to say like um, it's a guaranteed thing because these things never are. But I want to let them know that I do love her and uh, I, I believe that this could be the right thing. But I need some time. I need to be sure there's the right thing. And these are the things which I wanted to say. But I was so nervous that I, I, I just stopped and I was pondering. I was thinking. I was pulling all these faces in silence, looking and thinking of the right thing to say. Thinking for minutes. I was silent for minutes. What? I was completely silent. And then finally, I came up with an answer with, with all three of them looking at me, wondering what I'm going to say next. And finally, I came up with the answer. And my answer was, with Viv translating, my answer was, Your daughter, I love, I'm paraphrasing, Your daughter, I love you. And I really think she's an amazing girl. And I believe that she is the right candidate. For marriage and um they didn't they didn't like that very well they they were surprised let's say everyone's surprised he was surprised she was surprised they were surprised like really you candidate you candidate you say that it's like okay that's a very strange thing to say and uh yeah there was a bit of an odd thing to say and then we changed the subject, the chat went on, blah, blah, blah. But the, it seems like I'm not allowed to use the, right, the word candidate when describing uh, whether I want to marry this girl or not. Uh, and um, I don't know, what do you guys think of the chat? Um, and you could be completely honest with me because I know that you will be honest with me and I trust you. Do you think that was perhaps the wrong word to say? Candidate? I've asked a few other people, I've asked my, I've, I've told the story to my mum and a few friends and yeah, they all think it's, what, they, they all look at me shocked, what? You, you, you said what? Oh my god, Grax, I can't, you said what? And variations of that. Can I be a candidate uh, when it gets to, oh no. When it gets to be a skill, no, I'm not. I'm not putting this up for a competition. I only have one girlfriend, and that's and she's mine, and I'm hers, and there is no compromise here. There is... <laughs> oh. And Harlander says, yeah. Okay, so... And the thing is, I wasn't even drunk. I was, like, completely stone-cold sober. I was drinking Chinese tea with her dad, side by side, like, like, was, like, some kind of business meeting. Was, no, that's not the right word again. Oh, fucking hell. Um... Yeah, it was just, <laughs> I was stone cold sober, that's right. And anyway, I was, it was fine. I'm, I'm sure they understood that I was nervous and I was min mincing my words, despite the fact that I was silent for minutes at a time. <laughs> Stop buying women. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, that's a funny little story. Uh to share with you guys and I, the reason I share this is because I want to find out if that was the wrong thing to say and people in the chat right now like now or in the future when I upload this onto YouTube let me know in the comment section down below was that the wrong thing to say and what would you have said what would you have said in my shoes but uh let's moving on to the next section of the thing and I'm just trying to think what else has been happening 
past month. Uh, let's just check the chat right now. The toilet is covered in Grax's lies. Uh, wow. I, I feel like I'm missing references here because I haven't watched The Apprentice in years and years and years. And I mean, I do understand that it's all about Lord Sugar. And yes, you have to call him Lord Sugar, apparently. Um, but yeah, it was it was an embarrassing time had by all. But has there been anything else that's been going on for the past month? Um, one other thing I did was I created a little short video, a little short animation with um, Lamb Bennett's. Uh, from Lamb's YouTube channel, Lamb's Take. She did a vlog where she mis mis misspoke about a, a famous quote. She was saying, blah, 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 blah talking about politics. Uh, and what she was supposed to say is shout into the ether. What she ended up shouting was, she was saying, shouting into the urethra. And I thought that was really funny. And I decided to take a video and run with the animation and, and create a short animation video with a little joke. It amused me. <clears throat> Uh, where's this year's review? This is Grax month. Yep. Uh, let's see. Wait, Andy, are you trying to sell points on my chat? You looks like you're trying to sell points on my chat. You paid for a year review. Right. Okay. So I think that covers everything for the past month. What's been going on for um, December 2019 for this episode of What's Going On Grax. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it on to the year in review. And I just need a little bit of time to set that up. So I'll put you on, uh, be right back. And then I will be back and we can discuss my year in review. So without further ado, one moment, please. <laughs> 